everyone, our team topic is the problem of skin cancer. The PowerPoint will show the division of labor among our team members and the key points. Firstly, I will introduce our topic. For nearly one year in Australia, I have found some classmates uh, suffered from sunburn and the skin aging. Uh, the sun in Australia is strong and uh, most people don't have sun production consciousness. Therefore, Australia has one of the highest risk of skin cancer in the world. Uh, about 2 in 3 Australia will be diagnosed with some of skin cancer before the age of 70. Skin cancer occurs when the skin cells were damaged. Uh, for example, by overexposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Skin is a natural production layer of body and is also a person's appearance. Keeping good skin condition is not only responsible for our own health but also out of respect to others. What's more, the good news is that skin cancer is one of the most preventable cancer in the world. Uh, you can reduce your risk of skin cancer at early age by, by using good sun production. So it's of great, great importance to pay attention to skin cancer. Okay. Next, I will use the rainbow model to explain the causes of skin cancer. Uh, this model will explain the relationship between uh, individuals, uh, environment, and uh, diseases. As can be seen in the, in the pictures, individuals are, are in the core and surrounding them are the factors which influence health uh, of people as well as can be modified. Uh, in the core part, the determinant is gene. It is reported that the people with whiter skin or the blue eyes or green eyes will uh, are inclined to uh, develop skin cancer. Besides, uh, individual medical history is important. Uh, the first layer is individual lifestyle factors. Uh, we have to say that the daily uh, the daily diet. Uh, as we know, the seafood and the spicy food will cause the skin allergy. Additionally, Aus Australian lifestyle, uh, people in Australia prefer to do uh, outdoor, outdoor activities such as barbecue or surfing. Um, thus, both uh, adults and teenagers uh, take high risk of getting sunburned. Uh, the third level is uh, living and working conditions. Uh, this is significant for the workers whose workplace access to a lot of medical and radiation. The utmost uh, is general uh, economic, cultural and environment conditions. Mm, all, uh, all we know that the uh, UV, UV index in Australia is very high and the ozone layer is a dramatic thing in Australia so that people cannot get well protected. Last but not least, the healthy awareness. People could also get uh, sunburned in the low temperature days, and everyone should protect themselves and when doing outdoor activities. Let me talk uh, something about the talking audience. The first talking audience is the main target audience. It's uh, uh, some workers to do some long-term outdoor walks, and some children do frequently some outdoor sports. Uh, according to surveys, there has an incidence of skin cancer has an invisible proportion to the latitude. That's proving that the occasion of skin cancer and ultraviolet, uh, ultraviolet radiation has a close relationship. And the uh, second uh, target audience is uh, people who work with uh, um, asphalt and tub but not have a uh, good protection. People um, always exposed to some chemical cutting slighted uh, the substantial uh, maybe to get the skin cancers and the third target audience is people who have some family history of skin cancers or some people uh, who get some skin illness from the childhood because uh, the skin of these people uh, was sensitive and suffering from the disease already now I will uh, talk about something about the key stakeholders. The first first stakeholders is a uh, daily food return. Uh, from the diet, uh, more food rich in vitamin A and vitamin C is benefit to avoiding uh, the skin cancers. Uh, food rich in vitamin A, uh, mostly of the animal food, such like the level and uh, some vegetables and plants always um, for in the. Uh, Catenoid, catenoids. Catenoids have a similar function with vitamin A because in our uh, diversity system, uh, we can uh, transfer the uh, catenoid to vitamin A automatically. Uh, then the second 
The second uh, stakeholders is the construction companies. Construction companies should uh, use uh, some environmental friendly building materials, uh, such as uh, some environmental materials have the safety and quality testing standards, uh, and uh, it should um, it should make the it make workers avoiding work for a long time uh, with uh, some chemist materials. The third. Shareholders is outdoor sports organizations. All the sports fi uh, facilities should have construct safety shedding uh, facilities, especially rope gambling and uh, roller uh, skating. And the outdoor sport equipment such as helmet and some protection suits will be ensure the level uh, of the science game. Thank you. In community, first we focus on the primate prevention. It is important to increase the health literacy about skin cancer. It keeps people away from skin cancer uh, by building protective factors and reducing risk factors. For example, people should uh, seek the shade, avoid tanning, come up with clothing and apply sunscreen up, uh, before going outside. In secondary prevention, people in the same community can help each other to get the professional treatment as soon as possible. So we will encourage them to do the medical examination regularly. Uh, in tertiary prevention, community can help patients to have healthy diet, food, daily diet. For example, after skin cancer surgery, the choice of GGB beans and yarn can help the patients recover more quickly. The most appropriate health promotion settings can be the health municipalities and communities because it increases actions across policy health, uh, popular education and community development. My part is talking about health promotion actions. Um, according to the Ottawa Charter, uh, we can divide health promotion actions into five aspects. Build health healthy public policy, reorient health services, create supportive environments, develop personal skills, and strengthen community action. Um, we come up with three actions that can prevent skin cancer due to this charter. The first one is building healthy public policy. Um, as the solar ring has been banned for commercial use in 2006, more policies can be published to help prevent skin cancer. Um, such as no entrance um, sign near the beaches where have higher UV level and criterions of sunscreen quality should be made as strict as we can. The second one is creating supportive environments. Being part of basic public facilities, um, a minimum of 25% garden area are required in between 400 and 500 square meters. Um, and the percentage should be increased since the UV level has has getting higher and higher in recent years. Um, for example, in city of in the city of Melbourne, there are garden areas. However, there are not enough shades or awnings. People getting keep getting burnt when they are walking alongside the main road. So, uh, more trees with large shades and um, more awnings should be put in the city in the city and alongside the main road to help people prevent heavy sun sunburn. The third part is developing personal skills. Indeed, people should be aware of the harm of sunlight and prevent it from by themselves in their lives. Um, more knowledge about sunburn and skin cancer can be taught as common sense in schools or working places, especially in health services um, such as hospital and clinics. Doctors can remind their patients to um, take care of their skins in summertime, especially in summertime. Um, advertisements of sunscreen can also rise public attention and teach them knowledges about how to, pre how to protect their skin. Um, this can be uh, considered as a method of promoting health literature as well um, in order to improve public health. So people sh um, when people um, know what can do harm to their skin, they can um, put sunscreen, um, have an umbrella or having a special protective uniform as well. 
There are several ethics can be uh, considered in this issue. The first is carefulness. Uh, we should avoid careless errors when we do when we doing survey in community. The second is respect for the uh, intellectual property. Uh, we we may address the issue by using the formal data that that thus we ought to show the respect respect for intellectual property. The second one is social responsibility. Uh, remember that we carry out this uh, public education and health promotion for the social well-being. Uh, the, uh, the last is non-discrimination. Uh, we should avoid discrimination about uh, races, gender, and uh, religions when we're doing the re research and keep uh, objective. According to the above explanation, I hope everyone has known more about skin cancer, including the determinants of health, influence, and the promotion actions. Uh, from now on, let's wear sunscreen and away from skin cancer.